When hundreds of Chicago teachers were laid off in 2010, Tim Meegan, a social studies teacher in Albany Park, joined the education justice movement in the city. Now Meegan's running as an independent candidate in the 33rd Ward. He's taking on a political dynasty, the Mel family, and Mayor Emanuel's use of TIF funds and privatization of government services. I'm Mike Fouché, publisher of Aldertrack, and this is our Meet a Chicago Candidate series. So, Tim, why did you decide to run for alderman? Well, my decision stems from my experience as a teacher at Roosevelt High School. Uh, as a teacher, I saw the social um, issues that many of our students bring into the classroom and how that negatively impacted their learning. And as a teacher, I was limited um, to my own classroom, really, and, and how I could continue to help my students. But as alderman, I can uh, help my students and their families in more concrete ways. Uh, such as fighting for a $15 minimum wage, uh, fully funded public services, including public schools, and more affordable housing in the ward. Uh, I was also very active in the school closings fight. Um, we did everything possible we could to prevent those school closures and then the subsequent budget cuts. My own school lost $1.8 million in two years, so that, um, that led me to conclude that we really need a political movement that's independent of the machine in Chicago because after all the things that we did, everything fell on deaf ears. And the reason, in my estimation, is because the machine controls everything and they take their constituents for granted. So would you consider yourself a, definitely not an Emanuel supporter, I would assume? No. Uh, a Garcia or Fioretti or Willie Wilson supporter? Oh, I support Chewy Gar Garcia for mayor. I think he's got the best shot of beating Rahm Emanuel. And uh, I think that he's got the best uh, record when it comes to defending working class families. So, you know, oh, most of the time of an alderman is spent with ward maintenance issues. Mm -hmm. But if you had one big citywide issue, what would it be? Well, I think we need to stop privatization. Uh, we Every time a city asset uh, gets privatized, um, that hurts future generations of Chicagoans. So whether you're talking about our schools or the parking meters or the Skyway or the potential privatization of Midway Airport, we're talking about sell selling a city asset, which belongs to all of us, uh, off for a, a quick uh, cash infusion, uh, and then for 75 years or more, or perhaps even permanently, uh, we lose the revenue that those um, assets generate. Um, now, of course, schools don't generate revenue for the city, but when you privatize schools or you privatize janitorial services, uh, what you get is a lower quality service at a higher cost to the taxpayer. So you're talking about taking on the Chicago political machine at large, not just the Mel family. Uh, how how do you expect to get anything done as an independent politician? The independents and progressives don't have a good record of actually accomplishing things in Chicago. They <laughs> keep getting brushed aside. Well, I mean, I think the Progressive Caucus has done a very good job at raising um, some issues that really need to be discussed. Uh, I think that by expanding the Progressive Caucus with as many progressive aldermen as possible, we have a much uh, better chance of pushing through uh, some legislation that benefits working class families. Um, but, you know, city council should be a place where the vision of our city is debated and discussed. And right now we have a litany of uh, rubber stamp aldermen that put uh, their stamp of approval on anything that the mayor wants them to, including uh, Alderman Mel, who's voted with Rahm 100 percent of the time. So uh, that's what needs to change. I mean, in order to have true democracy, um, we need to eliminate uh, these rubber stamp aldermen. Otherwise, what's city council for? Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Tim. All right. Thank you. You can learn more about the Tim Meegan campaign and 183 others by subscribing to our email newsletter at aldertrack.com, by listening to our series on Rivet Radio, or by subscribing to this series on YouTube. Thank you very much. More great stuff to come.